If you want to be a good Java developer and want to write better and optimized Java code, then what you got to learn is Java memory management. And trust me, this three minute shot can help you to clear interview. When we talk about Java memory management, there are a couple of important things. The first thing is stack. The second thing is heap. Now here goes the cheat code. When we talk about any method related data, like method arguments, local variable, object references inside the method, all these things go to stack memory. When we talk about complex objects like student, customer, string, they all go to heap memory. Now let's just see some real Java code and let's just understand how our code live inside the memory. When the main thread executes the main method, the method arguments goes into the stack. So here the args goes into the stack, which contains an empty string array. Let's go to the next line. And here we have a local variable A. And as I said, all a local variable goes into the stack like A and B. Now time for an, another local variable called sum, which stores the addition of A and B. So this goes into the stack as well. Let's invoke the next line. Now string is an object. So this object ABC goes into the heap. But as I said, all the references goes into the stack. And here the string reference S goes into the stack and we have a pointer pointing to the actual string object on the heap. Hey, 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 important update. This string literals, this double quote things, actually goes to something called string constant pool or ACP. But no worries, this ACP is also part of heap memory. Now let's go to the next line. Here we're creating a list object and the reference list goes into the stack. And here is a pointer pointing to the heap memory. Now here we are creating a new string A and then adding it to the list. So the string object gets created on the heap and the list index zero points to that string. And then here we are creating a, another string called B and the list index one pointing to that string. Now pause this video, here is a question for you. Now to access ABC string, you have a reference called S. But if I'll tell you to access the string called A or B, can you access them directly? If yes, how? If no, is there any way you can access them? Let me know in the comments. And by the way, once this method invocation completes, this main method stack frame will disappear along with all the variables and references that we have inside it and the control back to the JVM. But hold on, the objects inside the heap memory is actually not going anywhere. But don't you think if we leave all this garbage inside the heap, this will again create a memory problem? Then how do you think all this garbage will be cleared out? Let me know in the comments as well.